The thoughts and opinions of this show is that of Drazy and does not coincide with all of Dre's Radio Cafe. Listening discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, very first episode of In My Opinion. Uh, episode one is going to be five things to have in a relationship. I am going to go through my list, but I'm also going to go through the list of other people. Uh, hopefully these shows will educate both men and women and give us an insight on how to uh, coincide with one another and get along and uh, hopefully make some good relationships, some good friendships, things of that nature. Because this is my first opinion of this is the first episode, excuse me, of In My Opinion, all right? You're welcome to chime in in the chat room if you like. Uh, if you like to listen wide open, it's in speaker radio. Go on to speaker radio, uh, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, radio, and um, look up In My Opinion. Uh, this will be the first episode, I believe, and you're welcome to come in there and uh, discuss the topic with me. And what will I, what I will do is I will go back through because I've got... I placed this on my Facebook page a while back. And how this works is simple. I will go on my Facebook page. I will post what my topic is for my next, uh, in my opinion. Everybody has an opportunity to chime in on whatever the topic is. I will read off the answers for everybody and anybody that was in the chat room. Give my opinion. And tell you why my opinion is my opinion. Uh, It's just plain and simple. Uh, You have a right to disagree to disagree and you have a right to have your own opinion also uh what will happen eventually is i will be able to start doing some live shows and when i do the live shows i'll be able to get in touch with people left and right um if you'd like to send me uh you know your opinions or any ideas or anything in nature send it to drezey21 at yahoo.com that's drezey21 at yahoo.com all right now today's topic and i'm trying to keep this really really sweet and maybe to 30 minutes max is uh five things to have in a relationship this this could be a friendship um uh, a marriage uh you know boyfriend girlfriend whatever the case may be boyfriend boyfriend girlfriend girlfriend whatever the case may be all right um feel free at any given point that you're in the chat room with me to state your opinion because i'm usually in the chat room as these shows go on even though my shows are pre-recorded the reason they're pre-recorded is because i am still a father and a family man and majority of times i do not have the opportunity to record my shows at separate at certain times because i am usually occupied by something else right now i have a four-year-old who's always on my back she is actually sleeping right now shout out to princess um and everybody else is doing their thing so with that being said let's go ahead and get into our topic our topic is five things to have in a relationship now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through everybody's own opinion and then i'm gonna go through mine all right and then i'm gonna talk some a little extra and then we're gonna get out of here all right so taking it from facebook on my facebook page and i want everybody to start going to uh Andre Richmond with the accent. Andre Richmond with the accent. And either go there or go to Drazy's Radio Cafe. Either one of the two. And start looking out on those. Uh, become a friend of mine on those pages. Because my original page, my Andre Richmond page, my actual legal government page is full. Alright. So, if you don't mind, go to Drazy's Radio Cafe. D-R-E-Z-E-Y Radio Cafe. Alright. Or go to Andre, A-N-D-R-E, with the accent over the E, Richmond, R-I-C-H-M-O-N-D, and friend me on one of those two. I usually put the topics on those two pages also, and I'll go back through and I'll, listen, I'll uh, go off them pages, and I will tell everybody's opinion, and I'll go through and I'll let you know my opinion, all right? Uh, so let's go ahead and start it off here. Uh, one of the uh, people on my list said, trust, not just about sex, communication, 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 all right? Um, another one says, honesty. Communication, commitment, great sex, sense of humor. All right. Uh, I also had another one say respect, passion, friendship, trust, and intimacy. I had one also say respect, communication, friendship, intimacy, and loyalty. Then I had one say friendship, understanding, communication, intimacy, and forgiveness. All right. Uh, More down the line, I'll go through some more later on. Uh, But right now, I'm going to go ahead and go with those. And um, I agree on several of the points, the talking points, because there was some that was really uh, to the point, and then there was some that I think I would rather have something else instead of. 
And it's not, you know, a hit or miss because none of it is just my opinion. Like I said before, uh, the thoughts and opinions of this show is from me only and does not coincide with those of Dre's Radio Cafe. That means you can't you can't hold uh, Lena Lay and, and Kamaya, uh, you know, responsible for that. You can't hold my homeboy MC Sneelo. You can't hold Psycho the Urchin. You can't hold uh, DC the Disky Diane. You can't hold none of them responsible. Anybody that's on this, sh- this station on this show, you cannot hold them responsible for that. All right. So, my opinion. First person that said trust, not just sex, communication, communication, communication. I agree on the trust because the trust is, the, is, is part of the loyalty process. Uh, when I say loyalty, I mean loyalty and res- uh, trust and respect. That's part of loyalty. Um, they're not just about sex. I don't even think in a relationship you should actually count in the idea of not just about sex because it's not about sex, really, honestly. Um, that was one of my hit or misses. That was like my six one when I said intimacy. Um, because I don't think it's very important that you have sex in a relationship. I mean, it is because it's part of a relationship, but it's not the most important thing that needs to happen in order for you to have a good relationship. Because a lot of marriages, they were built off of the five things that are already in a relationship. And I don't think that when you get older, you just continue to have those same luxuries. Cause I don't know how many people, I don't never see anybody that's over 70, 80, well, it might be some, I don't know how my dad is or, you know, how, you know, anything of that nature, but that's over 70 or 80 that is still having constant sex and still married. There's people that I've seen in years over my years of my, my term of my lifetime on this planet that I've seen that's been married for longer than I've been born. And I know it hasn't been just built off of sex. So I can't really use that as a, a, uh, a meaning for five things in a relationship. Uh, communication, communication, communication is the other three that they had on there. I agree with the communication part. Highly and so, because if you do not continue to communicate on what your situation is, the relationship can fall apart. Relationships are based off of talking. Like, you never, you never had a relationship that didn't involve talking. Like, unless you're, you know, mute or, you know, you're using sign language or any of that nature, you're still talking regardless, regardless, honestly, Regardless, you're still having to talk because you're having to find a way to communicate with somebody. You don't know if you like them just by looking at them. You're like, oh, damn, he's fine. Okay, that's not nothing to do with the relationship because now you're looking at appearance and you're looking at the sex part, uh, part of it. The sex part of it is cool if you're looking at it for that, that aspect. But long-term relationships are based off of communication uh, you know, some of my my ideas, but I'm not going to go through them right this instant. I'm just going off what everybody else say, and I'm just going through what they say, and then I will get to mine, all right? So communication is a big part. All right, next person said honesty, uh, communication, commitment, great sex, sense of humor. All right, so honesty is part of that loyalty uh, factor, the trifecta. Um, I usually don't, I only see two of the trifecta in my listing, but honesty is a, part of a, a trifecta the trifecta is honesty respect and trust and that's part of the loyalty factor um when you look at things from a different angle uh you cannot build a relationship off of disloyalty because it doesn't work so if you say and do you know and, and be the person that you say you're going to be people respect that better that's part of the triangle they trust you different that's part of the triangle if you're honest with them they that's part of the triangle. I use that triangle in some part, parts of my everyday living because I want people to, you know, I show honesty to them in terms of like their stuff. I don't want to be the yes man. So if it's something that's wrong, I'm going to tell you it's wrong. If something is right, I'm going to tell you it's right. And it's not going to be a change on me. Either you like me or love me, you hate me, you, you, don't, you don't like me, whatever the case may be. I'm just going to be me. And if I'm not honest with you and I'm not going to be respectable to you or trust you then there's no there's no form formal formulation to the triangle all right so honesty is very important to the trifecta all right uh once again we already discussed communication so i don't need to go through that again uh commitment commitment is one of the um it's kind of like in my opinion it's kind of like uh the main factor in communication that's what it is to me because you can be committed to somebody in communication there 
uh, that is my that's a good good one right there. I like to use the community the com- commitment. I'm sorry, commitment part of it. Uh, I want to use that part. I, I like to use that in my five, but I didn't put it as my five. But it's a very, very important aspect of it. Um, great sex. Okay, so great sex falls into the intimacy. And once again, we spoke on the uh, not not just about sex. Uh, so I'm not going to recap on that because that's already been discussed. Uh, let's see. Great sense of humor. Everybody likes somebody that's funny because everybody wants somebody that's positive. You don't want somebody that's a negative Nancy 24-7, always nagging, always complaining about something, always don't like something. Whether you go out to movies, dinner, whatever, one of these type of people that is constantly talking, 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 and nagging. Because listening is part of a relationship too. And if you don't listen and give somebody else the opportunity to listen, then it becomes a one-sided relationship. It's all about selfishness because what eventually happens is somebody talks to you and they're in this mode of, constantly talking and you never have an opportunity to express yourself if you do not express yourself then it is what it is and a lot of people will talk over you not give you the opportunity to talk and therefore you're not being heard even though you're a good listener you got to be able to talk too and if they're not willing to let you talk then it's selfishness all right um that's just my opinion but somebody has to have a sense of humor and it's fun it's fun to have somebody with a sense of humor because it keeps the relationship from going sour you don't want somebody that's always serious when people get serious about a relationship then it becomes toxic because what's going to eventually happen is is that uh that person will eventually start getting to the point where they're so serious that everything that you say to somebody is just not going to be taken in as a joke okay And at that point now, somebody's going to be like, oh, this is not right. This is going to be an issue. And it does happen. It does happen with people. And there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, there's just relationships that fall apart because people are not all fully honest. There's going to be situations of that nature. And and a sense of humor is a big thing. It's not on my five, but it is a big, big thing, all right? So uh, the young person's response is honesty, communication, commitment, great sex, sense of humor. I dig all those, all right? Uh, the next one said respect, passion, friendship, trust, and intimacy. Well, I don't need to address the trust or the intimacy because I've already addressed that earlier, and I'm going to give my opinion on all that later. But the respect, the respect I never touched on because, well, I did put it on it because it is in my trifecta. Respect, trust, and honesty. All right? That's my trifecta. Respect, trust, honesty. Um, and it's crazy. Um, you know, I think of that, and I I go through it, TRH, trust, respect, honesty, the trifecta, Uh, respect, you got to respect that person, Uh, regardless, you can tell somebody that they're your friend, but you cannot, you don't always have to treat them like your friend, I've had people in that situation of that nature that do that thing, and it happens sometimes, and it is what it is, there's people that you say you, you love, and you trust, and they're your friends and stuff, but really, your friends are not, you've got people that are not going to be your friend. They're going to stab you in your back because they want something that you have or they'll treat you a certain way for something that you have or they might just treat you differently because they're trying to get past what it already is. I understand that. People do that in, in everyday living. That's Houdini's song, Friends, How Many of Us Have Them. Uh, they will, if you listen to all the songs, I mean, they're, they're cool one minute, they're enemies the next minute, I mean, whatever the case may be. But at some point or another, you have to understand that that respect there is a major factor in any relationship. Because if not, you know, you're going to sit back and you're going to say to yourself, what type of friend was that? You know what I'm saying? And that's and she also put in friendship because friendship is a ba- major part. Let me tell you, I went through a rela- I went through a relationship where I was with somebody and for the longest, I thought I was this person's friend. And I, didn't even, I realized at the end of the day. I wasn't even their friend because they didn't treat me like that. They treated their friends like real friends. Like they would call them for anything that went on. They would call them for anything that was, they were going through. They would call them for, you know, the idea of just wanting to conversate with them. And I'm the closest person to them. And that person didn't even treat me like I was a friend. Now, regardless of what your label is or whatever you go by, 
there still has to be a factor of a friendship in a relationship. All right, because that's what relationship is. It's got that ship. If you look at the word relationship, you can use it as anything. Relations is like another word for sex. Relationship. Uh, you can't really. You can say it as sex, friendship, or sex ship, or you know, to be one with, to be friends with somebody in a relationship. Anyhow, however you want to take that. Like I said before, this is just my opinion. You're welcome to have your own opinion on that. But from where I stand, I am sitting here and I'm explaining that you have to have respect and friendship, you know, in something. Because if no friends, if you're not friends, then what are y'all doing? You see what I'm saying? Uh, passion. I don't think passion is really necessary. Uh, if you have a passion for something or a passion for for somebody, uh, that's good. But if it was up to me, I would pass on the passion for something else maybe you know uh trust one of the the trifectas to be honest with you uh one of the trifectas will help me um and of course i won't i'm not going to touch on the trust and intimacy part because i've already touched on those now we'll touch on them again later uh let's get to the next one said respect communication friendship intimacy loyalty i'm not going to touch on the respect because i've already been to that spot right now i've been to that spot already uh, the communication part, uh, I will get to the communication part in just a moment. The other points that uh, they were trying to get at, okay? So let's go ahead and get to the ones that they were trying to get at. And those were, um, let's see, I'm not going to touch on the respect. I'm not going to touch on the communication. I'm not going to touch on the friendship because we've already been there. The intimacy and uh, the loyalty. The loyalty factor is the, the trifecta. The trifecta that's already been there, all right? So there's no real sense of me trying to go through all of that and getting that done. I'm not going to worry about that, okay? So, let me go ahead and get to the last one. The The last one says, friendship, understanding, communication, intimacy, and forgiveness. All right. So, several people have touched on the friendship part. I've touched on that too. And uh, I think it's a primary uh, thing, but I would have the friendship part as part of the uh, the boundaries. I'll, I'll explain that to you later. Um uh, Let's see. Also, um, understanding. Understanding is a key. F it's a factor in a relationship because you have to understand who that person is you're dealing with. I don't think it's a major point in that relationship, but I think it's a, a priority in a relationship. But that's a whole different subject because that's not part of the five. OK, the same thing goes for forgiveness. You can the forgiveness and the, the understanding part is. One and the same pretty much because I have to understand what you're going through and I have to be able to forgive you if you do something wrong. I have to go through that motion. I, and I'm cool with that if I have to be that person. The thing about it is is that I think them things, them factors are not diehard factors to me, all right? Uh, everything else is diehard factor to me. Uh, the friendship part, the communication part, and the uh, intimacy part is all, you know what I'm saying? That's all in one. So, uh, with that being said... Let me go ahead and give you my five, and I'll explain my five to you in the best form fashion possible. And uh, like I said before, if you'd like to chime in, you're welcome to chime in. Uh, I, any and everything that's said on the, in the chat room on that night, I will go ahead and come back to, on that Thursday night, and I will more than likely go through and, and we'll discuss some of that stuff. Uh, let me let me take that back. Let me take that back. One of the nights during the week, I will not let I will not know for sure. I will have to let y'all know what day I would do my actual live show from the show prior. Meaning, if somebody really wants me to do a live show of this episode and I get so many likes for it, I say maybe 50, 60 likes. Well, yeah, because a lot of people look at that shit. Uh, if I say 100 likes, if I get 100 likes, I will do a live show of it. I will pick a day during the week that I'm off. I will go through. We will all sit and discuss it, whether it takes an hour, hour and a half, whatever. Okay. So in order for me to do that, I would have to have, and that's just from people even looking at the site and liking it, whatever the case may be, that one, you know, topic of Facebook when I put it on the Facebook page. And that can be for all three put together. So if you go to my actual page, my government name page, and like it there and then like it on you know, uh, Drazy's Radio Cafe, and then you like it on Andre with the accent, you know, if you go to all three, and I get 34 people that do it on all three, that's 101, 
I mean, well, yeah, that's 103, 103, 102, 102, I'm sorry, 101, I'm sorry, anyway, if I go through the numbers and I get 33 people on each one, that's 99, so if I get 34 on each one, that would be 102, so if I get 102, then I'm just going to go ahead and do a live show, I'm sorry about that, I'm a numbers person, so, my my five is is what some of y'all had already said. A lot of y'all used uh, com, uh, communication. Communication is key. It's an actual top one. It's very very important that communication is involved. There cannot be a relationship without communication. You have to have to be able to communicate with somebody to know what's going on. You communicate with somebody just to meet them. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. My name is Andre. What's your name? That's communication off the jump. There's nothing in it. Nothing. Other than communication, that's going to get you in the door to start to start talking to somebody. Unless you're just going through a bar and you meet somebody and y'all get eye contact and y'all just have a one night stand and y'all ain't never said nothing to nobody. And the next morning y'all don't know shit. And if that be the case, excuse my language, I'm sorry. And if y'all don't know what's happening that night before, then it is what it is. I apologize, dealing my uh, language. I'm gonna try my best to be a little bit better. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. So communication is key. With no communication, there's no relationship. Uh, let's go to my next one. My next one was part of that trifecta. It is uh, respect. Respect is very important because you have to respect somebody. The respect factor is I respect you, you respect me. There might be people out there that want that wants to entertain you and try to talk to you or court you or be nice to you or be with you or be about you. And it's your opinion on whether or not you entertain that or not. At the end of the day, if somebody's talking to you, say, hey, girl, you fine. Let me holler at you. What's going on? If you don't respect the person you're with, then what makes you think that the next person you go to, that you're going to respect that person too, unless you really just want that person or unless. And then you got to remember with the trifecta, if you don't coincide with that trifecta, there's a possibility of the karma. Because karma don't play. If you don't respect that person, who's going to respect you? That could be the part. That could be the part and that could be not be the part. Like I said before, this is all my opinion. I just know like when it comes to respect and you don't respect somebody, when it come, all comes down, said and done, and at the end of the day when that person finds out that you didn't respect them enough, they're probably not going to respect you in no form or fashion. They'll probably look at you as dead weight. They're probably going to look at you and be like, okay, whatever. And that's, that can happen on any level. You know, physical abuse, mental abuse, you know, verbal abuse, any of the abuses, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's a possibility, and that's sad, but it happens. You know, you got people that are that are no longer respect you for things that you have done in your past or things that you've done to them, and it is what it is. You have to learn that there is karma out there, and it happens, all right? So it is what it is. Um, trust is another thing that I had on my list. That is very important to me. And I've had a hard time trying to figure out exactly like who to trust and who not to trust in terms of like relationships. Because you have these people out here that will take your kindness for weakness or mistreat you or say he's not going nowhere. She's not going nowhere because I got them wrapped around my finger. All I got to do is say I love you or I need you or, you know, something. And they'll be like that. That's and when they go through that motion and you have that way of thinking that it's always like that then a lot of people lose trust in other people and i tell everybody all the time that you know sometimes hurt people hurt people and a lot of the hurt comes from the idea of mistrust and that's part of that trifecta that trust respect and honesty uh if you ain't got those three and you're not being honest with somebody and you're telling them stories you're playing with fire you're playing with fire when you're talking about respecting somebody and you're not respecting them you're also playing with fire when you're talking about trust and you're not trusting them and you, or you're you're losing trust from them either way or so in that form of fashion when you're thinking about the trifecta which i said before and it's not really part of my five one of them is not part of my five the honesty part because if you respect somebody and you trust somebody you're going to be honest regardless you're not going to lie to them if you uh, you know trusting and respecting somebody so you can use that as a as a form of factor and i may be wrong like i said before this is my opinion so that is what it is uh when i say uh i heard people say friendship 
Uh, friendship is to me goes in with one of the words I've I've had, but I, I know nobody else has used this word, and it's called support. Uh, support. So when I say support, I mean like being that person, being around them, being that that uh, shoulder to lean on, that person to if you need me, I'm there. Uh, that 24 seven person. Um, one of the people that say, Hey, I got the secret. I don't want nobody else to know. Can I tell you? And you'd be like, yeah, I got you. You never tell that secret. You take that shit to your grave. Uh, that type of support. If you got that kind of support with you and that support system, it's like family too. I mean, you can have a support system of any of that nature. Uh, if you got support following you, then you got a lot of things going for you. So my, my keys are communication, respect, trust, and support. My last one is a little bit different than everybody's, and I don't know why I I put this down here, but I think it's needless to say that it is a it's very essential in a relationship. And then I had to think about it, and I, I understand why. But it's called boundaries. All right, uh, you got to have your own boundaries. I'm not saying like you're in a relationship and everything is is public to the world or private to the world depending on how you feel about that i'm not saying like your cell phone or your you know your you know your bills or any of that is all just hush hush and you don't listen when i talk about boundaries i'm just saying like there has to be a comfort zone or you know a place where a person can be in a relationship and still be cool you know what i'm saying there has to be boundaries i'm not telling nobody if i'm you know is involved with somebody and doing something, whatever the case may be, saying you can't hang out with your friends. You're welcome to hang out with your friends. Because here's the thing. M- me saying boundaries to you is saying loyalty, trust, the, the, lo- the loyalty triangle, basically. The trust, respect, honesty. That is the, the trifecta, the trifecta of everything. So if I'm telling you, uh, my ba- your boundaries. Your boundaries is not me telling you you can't go out with them. You can't do this. You can't do that. Whatever. My when I'm saying boundaries, I'm saying like your understanding, not changing what you are, but understanding where you can and can't be, and doing what you can do and don't what you're not supposed to do. Excuse me. Boundaries. I want to be able to uh, every now and then take a shower with that significant other. I want to every now and then take a bath with that significant other. I want to be able to go places with that significant other. I would like to be able to conversate about things with that significant other. That is that is not of the norm. I would like to, you know, be able to let my friends come through. I would like for every now and then for that my significant other friends to come through. I would like for it to be all that. That's all part of boundaries. I'm not saying take away from anything. I'm saying put towards. So if your boundaries is... If you say to somebody, hey, my, you know, somebody say, hey, I have a whole bunch of male friends and I'm in a relationship with you. I tell that person, I trust you till I can't trust you, meaning I trust you until you give me a reason not to trust you. That is part of my boundaries. Everybody's got to have boundaries. All right. So if you choose to go out, hang with your male friends, get wasted one night do whatever however it happens whatever happens if it does happen blah they so and so and then not use a trifecta with me and i find out then it's a different story but until then i give you your boundaries you see what i'm saying some people don't want to be in relationships because they don't like to have they don't like their boundaries taken away or have their you know certain things taken away from them that's why you put boundaries up if you have somebody that is one of them type of people that is, say I'm a drug addict. Say say you're dealing with somebody that's a drug addict. And you know they're a drug addict. If you give them that boundary and say, listen, I don't condone it. And I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to hinder it. I am not going to invest in it. But if you choose to, after all the bills is paid and do whatever, get some weed or do whatever, that's on you. But let me tell you, make sure you got a life insurance policy for me. Make sure that whatever you're doing, I don't sit back and look like a fool for because somebody else has told me something different about you. Make sure that there's these boundaries up. That's that's important to me because here's the thing. I like to play video games. 
I like to do music. I like to uh, every now and then go to the gym a lot. Uh, every now and then, I like to spend a lot of time with my kids. Every time, now and then, I like to watch a lot of movies. I like to have some boundaries up so that way this person ain't always like, damn, he's never around me. He's never doing anything with me. He's never spending time with me, blah, 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 blah. And it's not about that. It's just about the idea that boundaries is up because you got your own boundaries too. You want to get your nails done, get your hair fixed, want to go out with your friends, want to have a couple of drinks, want to be able to you know, go shopping, do your things. You want your boundaries too. So you have to have these things around. But at the same time too, you have to understand what a boundary is. A boundary is a, a line that cannot be crossed. When you cross that line, you cross that, that trifecta or any of these five. And then it's an issue, okay? So make sure that you have some kind of boundaries involved in your relationship, all right? So my five, communication, respect, trust, uh, support, and boundaries uh, is my five. I thank everybody on this side for, on the Facebook side for giving me your opinions, all right? I know I'm going over a little bit. I'm sorry real quick. I'll get, to, get you out of here in the next four minutes. Uh, my other two that was on my list was uh, intimacy and safety. The reason I said intimacy is because intimacy, uh, and, and somebody had to throw this at me. Intimacy don't have to mean having sex. It just has to mean being one with somebody on a level of understanding them. That could mean, hey, talking to you and you feel me, you understand me. I can be at ease with you. I can be a comfort zone. I can be like comfort food. Hey, I know I haven't like this, that, and other, and me and you talking, and it's making you feel comfortable. That is intimacy. It can also mean having sex. That's fine, too. Intimacy don't always have to mean sex, though. It can mean kissing. It can mean hugging. It can mean just sitting beside each other, loving on each other, being uh, happy, smiling, whatever the case may be. It can be a lot of things, but it don't have to necessarily mean sex. Now, if any form of fashion, you think the intimacy is that, then it's not. But it, it can be. And like I said before, this is my opinion. Um, my other one was safety. You want to be with somebody that you feel safe with. Not just mentally or physically or spiritually or financially, but just all around safe with. That could mean, you know, if he is a prior military person or he's been trained with a pistol or trained with knives or kung fu or fighting or boxing or whatever, physically in your corner just to make sure you're safe. Uh, mentally, not blocking your judgment, letting you be, being at peace, being one with you, understanding you. Uh, you know, spiritually, one in tune with you and God. Um, you know, uh, what am I going to say? Uh, financially, you know, keeping up on things. I know I'm not the perfect person on keeping up with things on in terms of financially, and I try my best to get better and better each time. So I'm working on that. But there's elements to intimacy that is a as a whole very very much needed in relationships too and none don't knock me and think that these five is just the five that is supposed to be the boundaries of relationships i mean or the, the circumference of a relationship no it's not you can add seven you can add 10 you can add 20 everybody each each is own to be honest with you i just chose to make this a topic because i wanted to make this a topic of something that everybody can talk about and and get a, a foot in the door and at least get the conversation going about what is and what isn't uh, a part of a relationship, all right? So, I put into play communication, respect, boundaries, trust, res uh, support, intimacy, and safety. Then we're just my, my ideas, all right? Now, listen very carefully. Whatever you do in your relationship, continue to do that if that works for you. If it doesn't, try a new avenue and see how that works. Uh, don't take anything for granted and love the person that you're with. Be that person that you expect to be, and in return, hope that that person that you're with becomes a person that you want them to be. All right? So I appreciate everybody for listening. Like I said before, go to uh, Speaker Radio. Look up, uh, in my opinion, and uh, go into the chat room. Chat room with us. Give your opinion, whatever you have to do. Uh, send me a shout-out. I got you a shout-out on the next show. And um, listen, take care of yourselves, all right? Uh, I usually close out my other shows, and I'm going to close out my show the same way on this one. I thank y'all for giving me the extra five minutes. I appreciate that very, very much. Usually I go out like this. God first, protect, provide, spread love, and get that money. All right? I appreciate you for listening to, in my opinion, uh, the thoughts and the, the opinions of this show 
is that of Drazy and does not coincide with the Dre's Radio Cafe. And you're listening. Discretion is advised. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>